Let's take a look at Bloom Unit, a photorealistic renderer that runs in the cloud and integrates seamlessly with SketchUp. Here we've already got a SketchUp scene open to get us started, and clicking the Bloom Unit icon on the toolbar starts uploading the scene to our servers where all of the actual rendering will take place. When it's finished uploading, a new window opens showing the live rendering results from the server. The view matches the view in SketchUp and will automatically update as you move around. Just to show how interactive Bloom Unit is, we'll change the time of day in the Shadow Settings dialog, changing the time from midday to 4pm. The rendering results are updated automatically, and you can see the changing sunlight distribution throughout the room. Let's find a spot to insert some models from the Bloom Unit component library. Currently there are over 2,000 highly detailed models in the library with ready-to-render materials. You can of course also drop in any other SketchUp models, including those from 3D Warehouse. Here we look through our Bloom Unit component library for something suitable. For now we'll drop in a tricycle. All of the Bloom Unit library items are actually proxies, where the low detail items shown in SketchUp are automatically replaced by very high detailed versions on the Bloom Unit cloud server. And you can see how this model automatically appears in the rendering. Bloom Unit also has a growing library of over 300 materials. We'll open the Material Manager from its toolbar icon, then start browsing through our extensive library of Bloom Unit materials. And change our red carpet to a mahogany timber floor. Once again, the rendering updates almost immediately. While there are lots of materials in the library, you'll probably want to make up some of your own. SketchUp materials work out of the box, but are also very limited. So here we will pre-select the existing stone surfaces on the island bench and create a brand new custom material for them. In the Material Manager, we just click the Custom tab and then press the Add button to start making a new material, which we'll call Granite. Then we move on to the Material Parameters. In the Diffuse tab, we select the Color drop-down and select the Texture option then browsing to a granite image we have created from some earlier photography. Right now the material has a great texture, but it doesn't look very shiny. Unlike SketchUp materials, Bloom Unit materials have more advanced parameters to control things like reflectivity. We'll add some reflectivity and glossiness to get a more realistic marble finish. We now paint our new material onto our selected surfaces and see the result and you can continue to tune the material parameters after painting and watch the render update with those adjustments. Moving the camera closer, we can see the detail in our new material. Bloom Unit renders progressively. As you can see, the initial images start out with some noise, but quickly resolve. Here is a render we left running for longer, straight out of Bloom Unit and without any editing. Now let's look at some artificial lighting. We can turn off daylighting in the shadow settings dialog by unchecking the use sun for shading option. And you can see at night that this area isn't particularly well lit. We can fix this by adding some new lights. This is done by clicking the Bloom Unit Luminaire Manager button. Select one of the manufacturers here we'll go for Urco, and we select the Cantex Spotlight. Now you move your mouse over the SketchUp viewport and you will see a light icon following your mouse pointer. In the context menu for your light, you can select the Aim Light option to point our light at any object in the scene. You can immediately see the increased lighting levels in the Bloom Unit renderings. If you can't find a light that suits your needs, you can always create custom lights in a similar way to custom materials. Another great feature is collaboration. You can share your live render view with anyone by simply entering their email addresses. They will get a link to immediately let them see what you're seeing. We'll finish up by moving our camera back to take in the view of the whole scene. And let's see what a completed render looks like. We can also review a false color image of the luminous distribution in the scene, showing the real physical values behind the rendering. We've only covered a fraction of the functionality in Bloom Unit here, to try Bloom Unit out for yourself, please visit our website at bloomunit.com for a free 14-day trial.